I got divorced from a really amazing person today. We were together for 18 years and I loved him. Oh. I am six months post-divorce and I just wanted to say that well, first off, I want to preface, I never thought I would get divorced, literally ever. I mean, I'm sure most of us think that. Why did you divorce again? What's the reason that led to your divorce? Probably nothing. You just decided one day that you no longer want to be married. And you fought for a divorce because maybe probably you didn't like how he chewed his... seen in this video is a woman showing that while she was married she was held captive she couldn't lose weight she couldn't uh, do anything hang out and once she's divorced now she feels like she's liberated she's able to lose weight go out hang out that's what she's demonstrating here but listen you can still lose weight while you're married you can still do those things while you're married you can still be happy while you're married you don't have to end a relationship for you to lose weight Guess what? The reason why you're losing weight in the first place after divorce is because you want to get back in the streets. You want to look attractive. So while you we were married, you never had any incentive to look beautiful and better. While you we were married to that man. So all the man was able to get was the, oh, the bare minimum, I'll gain weight. And there's nothing you're going to do about it. But once I divorce you, I'm going to lose weight tremendously. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thumbs up on the video. Who wears the pants in the relationship? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's 100% Jolie! <laughs> wow! <laughs> One stare and that shoe just changed. Samir's not even holding his shoe anymore. <laughs> The number one mistake I see many divorced women making is not staying liquid enough. And here's what I mean by that. So most women I talk to going through a divorce, they either try to keep the home or they go after retirement assets like pensions or 401ks. The problem with both these assets are these are e-liquid, right? If you need money from your house, you'd have to go and sell it. And this is a two month process. And for retirement accounts, you have to wait till you're 59 and a half to be able to take money out of it without occurring a 10% penalty. So this makes the retirement accounts not usable money either if you're below the age of 59 and a half. So what I encourage a lot of women to do is make sure that you are fighting for some liquid money. This would include cash, CDs, anything in mutual funds or brokerage accounts or individual stocks. You're going to need some liquid money to live off. And guess what? For how long are you going to keep that money? Not for a long period of time. When you get divorced, you quite literally promise to spend the rest of your life with this person. You quite literally planned and built your life around spending forever with that person. I could not resist, so I had to look it up. From the Office of National Statistics, from a 2019 study, in ever-increasing numbers, we are now at a lesbian divorce rate of 72%. So the top four reasons that they are reporting getting divorced is feeling ignored, inequality in the partnership, adultery, and domestic violence. Personally, I feel like this lends some weight to men's arguments and complaints about how women are behaving in relationships. Because when you have lesbian statistic, lesbian divorce statistics that look like that, the girls are kind of telling on themselves. Yeah, I agree. This just shows that the reason why most marriages are not working, it's because, or the reason why there is higher divorces now, it's because of uh, women. They are just deciding to say, oh no, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Maybe I probably get a pay cut. I, 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 let me make some money. I've invested for the last 10 years in this marriage. It's time to cash out. They're cashing out. That's all. What advice do you give to relationships? The second you don't think it's a priority, and not just you, you both have to think it's a priority. And the second one of you checks out, mm -hmm. it's over. Yeah. So whenever I get to the point, and it, by the way, it happens a lot. Yeah. And if we can just be real with like what's not working and what's not cool, and then um, 
and then check in and kind of unpack that and spend the time to unpack that. You can't think that something's just going to fix itself. Yeah. And kids make it much more complicated, yeah. you know, and Duh. it exacerbates everything. <laughs> no. Right. And, and, and so you have to constantly communicate yeah. and both want it to work. Yeah. The second you don't want it, it's over. And by the way, it's yeah. going to happen again with the I really struggle to have a roster, not because I can't talk to more than one baddie at a time. There's enough me to go around. Not in that way. But the problem is I always have a favorite and I really don't care to hear from the rest. And my favorite's always gonna be the least emotionally available one. I, I don't make the rules. I'm gonna invent a rocket ship that my baby daddy can get put on and just get drafted into space and never be seen again. I'm talking about, I wanna send him, I want him to be first picked of the draft. I want him to be sent to prison, sent somewhere, sent somewhere nonstop and just don't bring him back. I'm sorry. I don't even wish bad on him, but I just want him to disappear. Just, just go somewhere. Sell him on the black market, do something. There's actually uh, a number of women that want to have kids and then they don't want the father of those kids to be in their life. They want to keep those children to themselves. And this is an example of those uh, women. Hey, let's check out the comments. I said the same thing, then he passed away. Try to be nice no matter what. For your kid, I learned. Mine went to prison when my daughter was five and got out when she was 14. It was the best thing that ever happened to us. The best revenge is to be totally unbothered and keep it moving. So you can see all these women, they want the father of their kids to be, not to be in their lives. I'll never forget. He robbed somebody and gave me the money and gave me the bill he stole. And it was just so sweet because he was out of breath and stuff. He's like, here, I just got this for you. I was like, oh, so sweet. Thank you. Because nobody never did nothing like that for me. He stole for me. So I'm like, oh, you did that for me, really? I was like, I was 15. Yeah, 15. That was my first boyfriend. First day, first day, where are we going? Let me hear it. To be honest, I think we need to go to the library. You don't sound very educated. Oh, I ain't no way. Oh, I ain't no way. Okay. This can, it's okay. because they can't see through. It's because they can't see through. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, That's alright, don't worry. Can I just ask, where do you work? Where do I work? Yeah. I sorry? Work, I work within cyber security. Cyber security? Yes. I work within finance as well, sweetheart, Ooh. so... Cyber what security and finance are completely different, but perhaps okay. you don't understand. Oh! Emotional, damn it! Okay, I'm 27, never been in a relationship. That used to sound absolutely preposterous, absurd, crazy. And I don't know why, but these days, I turn 27... Guys, thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.